husband's girlfriend on a snowmobile yes I can uh, I can see that and why is it in my lobby it's called a promotional Elise yeah it's, it's a start of some very very exciting new game plan and will I be privy to this game plan Dan considering the fact that I started this company co-own company I created founded and built this company Dan before we were married. Which we call now, even after the divorce. Don't you think Drew looks fantastic on a snowmobile? Oh, Elise, you have a call in five minutes. Thank you. Dan, you do realize that snowmobiles are environmentally controversial. Do you not care about this planet at all? <laughs> well, I mean, we don't just sell travel packages to hippies, Elise. You know, you should get yourself a snowmobile. Christmas tree? Already? Okay. Oh, hey. Is addition on the gold shim case? Better, I suspect. He's waiting for you in the conference room. Why? I don't know. Give me that. What does he want? I don't know. Go, you're late. Go! Okay. Who died? Poor Nick. Always the defeatist. A wife would fix that. Oh, I'm happy with my girlfriend. Saul, am I getting the sack? With champagne? Nick, you work hard around here and we all know it. Right. Family law. You all have families and traditions to go home to. I've told you, you're not the odd man out here. So, what's with the champagne? Champagne and candy canes. You know we're all about the holidays around here. Yeah, I know, hence my concern. Nick, relax, hmm? You're up for partner. Congrats. I'm gonna make a phone call. I'll talk to you later, huh? Sure. That obvious? I've been here longer than you, cowboy. I know what those candy canes mean. <laughs> Just remember, they pick one partner per region per year. Right, and always married with a family. Always. Hey, Ashley, great news, huh? And Nick, 
Time to bring out that new girlfriend you were just telling me about to my tree trimming party next Friday, okay? Great. I'll call her right now. All right. See you there. Okay. But you don't have a girlfriend, Nicholas. You say that like it's a bad thing. And you just lied to a senior partner. White lie, Ashley. I can find a girlfriend. What? How hard can it be? How hard can it be? Oh. Oh, there, bestie. We could always throw darts at it. Darts are great for arm flab. I do. Did you put that there, Holly? Honey, no. This is what Dan does every Christmas since your breakup. Please brace for it. Guess the most miserable time of the year. I used to really love Christmas. Holly, chocolates came for you. I snuck one. <laughs> also, Dan wants to see you. Wait, so I thought you told him that I was on a call. Except he just checked my phone lines to make sure that was actually happening. Oh my God, this man. <laughs> I might not even make it to Christmas. And it's not even December yet. Honey, just breathe and think of January. <sighs> hey, you want to see this? What? See Bradford Connolly there? I say, what do you call him the other 364 days of the year? He says, I call him, come here, boy. <laughs> he just learned that he's up for partner. He's got a candy cane, too. Yep. And wait for it. Oh, please tell me she's just weirdly overweight. <laughs> nope, that is a pregnant woman. Oh, this cannot be happening. Especially since you said you have a girlfriend that you don't actually have. Manage your expectations, that's all I'm saying. <clears throat> oh, Elise, how was your extra long lunch? Delicious. How is the fix on the email server coming? Oh, it's definitely coming along. So, in other words, it's not fixed. You realize that the majority of our business is done over email, and we really need to get this fixed, like, now. Okay, Elise, I am handling it. Thank you. And, you know, while we're on the topic of business concerns, um... I'm thinking that it's probably a good idea that we cut back on our charity travel packages. What? Yeah, I'm just trying to make dollars and, and cents here. I'm pretty sure that Scrooge said the same thing before the ghost showed up. Yeah, well, it's good that Scrooge's business partner was a ghost. You were talking about dispatching charity outreach programs for children at Christmas. Elise. <clears throat> I know that you have a big heart, but we have to start thinking about the future. Otherwise, all of our opportunities are just gonna pass on by. Oh, like girlfriend on the snowmobile. Exactly. Well, I guess we'll talk about it tomorrow. There you are. Just play along. Daycare called. Flu outbreak. We have to pick up the kids pronto. So. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh. Thank you. Feels like retail assault everywhere. Except that was charity. Feels epidemic this year. I mean, they put up decorations at my gym a month ago. Do you know that Consumer Reports said that the new start date is Halloween? Halloween. That is hard to hear, especially as a Christmas phobe. Is that a thing? Christmas rarely goes well for me. <laughs> well, you should start a club. I don't know, you seem uh, pretty into it. Oh, uh, no, this is sort of my personal revolution. I Christmas shop for myself. Oh, wish I'd thought of that. Well, now you know. Well, thanks for the tip. I'm Nick. Elise. Elise and Nick, founding members. 
Ah, uh, yes. Of the Christmas phobia club. Well, not like phobia scared of. No, I just wary of. Yeah, exactly. Do you work around here? I see you around quite a bit. Uh, no, I just have a thing for the wonton soup. Sounds delicious. Oh. Ah, work. Never ends. You know, I was looking forward to our first meeting in the Christmas Phobia Club. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow you can introduce me to that hot and sour soup? Wonton soup. Right. Even better. See you tomorrow? Sure. Great. All right, everyone, could you gather around, please? Now, as most of you know, WKJN's Reindeer Report, a week before Christmas, is the city's most televised moment of the year. Beloved by parents and children alike, where Santa's sleigh ride is mapped out in glorious detail for all of us all over the state. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the special Reindeer Report weather girl for this year. All part of our very special Give a Gift of Travel promotional. So let's give a big congratulations to us and to our beloved Drew. Do you realize that the Reindeer Report requires an extensive knowledge on National Geography, correct? And Drew can't even find the ladies' room without using Google Maps. Well, it's all in the teleprompter, ladies. She was a professional car model, not a professional spokesperson. The teleprompter can be taught, Elise. Does WKJN have any idea that she has absolutely no professional on-air experience? I've been taking a public speaking class. <laughs> Have some faith. <laughs> you must be eight reindeer shy of a sleigh ride, my friend. The most watched local news program of the year. And we will be ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <gasps> happy Wednesday, Zoe. I'm not Zoe. Oh, I am! <laughs> you okay? No, I'm not. He won't sell to me, I won't sell to him. We agree on nothing except for the fact that we both want this business. I, he's not even consulting me anymore, Holly. How do we even fight that? It's not war, Elle. This is Dirty Pool. You need more than work now. <sighs> Please, don't... Push me into dating right now. Hun, you need something to look forward to again. That scares me even more. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I didn't have your number, nor the ability to abandon a conference call going very South Pole on me. Well, I wish that I could move to the South Pole for Christmas. That bad? Yeah, me too. Why you? Ladies first. Well, my ex-husband is my business partner. Wow, that is a mouthful. And uh, at every fiscal year, which for us happens at Christmas time, he torments me trying to get me to sell him my travel agency, which I started. I'm really sorry. Your turn. Well, I think I might be a Christmas jinx, which means I do stupid things at Christmas. Not all of which are my fault. Can you give me an example? I can give you 20, including promising my boss that I would take my girlfriend, which I don't have, to the office Christmas party in a week. Why would you do that? I don't know. Christmas just stresses me out. Maybe there's, like, a hotline we could call. What if we made an arrangement to socially navigate Christmas together? Is this something stupid that you're doing? Yeah, maybe, but you seem nice and normal. Thank you. You don't seem normal at all. 
but I'm very nice. And you have to admit, a business deal could be mutually beneficial. It's better than a club. No politics. <laughs> No secret handshakes, no hideouts? A company arrangement, a public offering even. We could attend events together. I could distract you from your ex-husband. Allies against Christmas madness. Like Christmas associates? Yeah. A Yuletide-oriented duty. Like mistletoe. Yes, but no PDA, I promise. Okay, um, this is the craziest thing that I've ever heard. If you could ask Santa for anything that you want, what would that be? Roll the calendar forward to New Year's. <laughs> Look, I deserve to be made partner, and I don't see why my personal life should have any merit on that decision. I'd ask Santa to consider me as I am. What about you? I would ask for my life back, my dignity, my business, not my ex -husband. What if this arrangement could get us all those things? Well, that would be a definitive Christmas miracle. Feeling ambitious? And incredibly professional. Great. I'll drop a contract and we can talk about it at lunch tomorrow. Yes, but first we're going to have to get a picture with Santa. Oh, come on, seriously? Yes. Call it a gentleman's handshake. Hi. How are you? Wow. Wow. Nice. Secret Santa Bonanza, put your hand in the hat. I hope you're getting some work done. Oh, Sorry. wait. Don't peek. Oh. I drew. Drew. Yikes. Put it back in. I won't tell anyone. No. So at least sometimes you have to play your hand even when the deck is stacked. Maybe this will be your last low point of the year. We have a three alarm problem at the Smithsonian right now. Four tour buses just showed up with no scheduled tours booked for them and I booked them. It's bad. No more predictions from you, Zoe. That's your plan? Yep. What could go wrong? You don't know each other at all. You're gonna try and pass her off as your long-term girlfriend to bosses in charge of your fate? Really, Nick? I need some guy friends. They would totally get it. Hey, you definitely need to be more socialized, that's for sure. Please don't call me a workaholic. Not today. You need to get to know this woman, Nicholas. Is that a bad thing? Depends. She most likely has a heart. Feelings. It's a contract. We agree. Yeah, because that's how girls work. <sighs> Oh, you actually drew up a contract. You really are a lawyer. Just business. It is. Contract is stiff, though. You're busting me on the doc title. We are going to be here through dinner. Well, I know my way around a contract. Is that so? Yes. How do you think that my ex-husband is still my business partner? I learned the hard way. Okay. Mistletoe brief. What about promise? Mistletoe promise. I like it. Me too. All right, lunch every day. Right, when it makes sense. We're gonna need to be familiar with each other if we're gonna pull this thing off. Okay. And what kind of evening activities are we talking about once a week? I don't know, I like action films. You know what, there's a screening of It's a Wonderful Life this Wednesday, have you ever seen it? Definitely not. Well, you need to trust me because it's actually fantastic. So we're going to that. All right, so best effort to demonstrate a caring relationship means well, compassion, consideration, hand-holding when it makes sense. Emotional hand-holding or physical? Depends on the situation. If you're going to be my girlfriend in public, actual hand-holding would be appropriate. Agreed, but we need to make it clear that we're not the PDA type of couple. Right. Okay. Yeah, you, I will uh, yeah. make a note Great. of that. Add it in. Okay. <clears throat> okay, wait, whoa. Wait, travel? Partners meeting is in New York. You will have your own room. First class air travel. It's the last weekend heading into Christmas Eve. And the contract expires on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Figured we can handle the big day on our own. Totally. Whoa. Will you explain these addendums to me? The relationship should be shallow. 
So deeply superficial. Exactly. And the second? No drama. Life's too short. Done and done. Great. Well, I will make these changes and email them over to you. Elise, Elise. You have to help me. Drew is a disaster on the teleprompter. Dan, you didn't run any of this promotional past me, so you handle it. Listen to me, Elise. This could put us on the map. How is this about us? When you and Drew just keep playing for each other. Oh. Huh. Good for Zoe. So, yes! Oh. 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 Huh? Not for me, they're for Elise? Who's Nick? little minx? Or is it Fox? Uh, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You have a secret bow and failed to tell me, or you've invented a man to drive damn bonkers. Uh, well, I assure you that I'm not that imaginative. <laughs> I didn't think so either. So, who is he? He is a guy that I met at, um, the mall. Please, no, we don't date retail after 30. Holly, don't be a snob. Don't be a sucker. Retail people are predatorial at Christmas. He's a lawyer. Oh, holy night. Say yes. Say yes to what? To everything at this point. You have a boyfriend. I do not have a boyfriend. I have a... a romantic interest. For now. That movie was so good on the big screen. Yeah, so smart and dark. It makes you feel amazing. <laughs> I feel amazing. <laughs> I never thought I could like a Christmas movie. It was just... <sighs> you can tell me. Just keep it shallow. Well, I've been accused, not lately, of being a workaholic. But I like helping people. I like being good at my job, and I am, and I do help people. Well, I too am accused of working too much, but I love my job and I'm good at my job. I don't know, I think that, you know, when a family or a couple comes back from a vacation, they're so grateful and they're so content, I can't imagine that they don't bring that back to other people in their lives, yeah, you know? Yeah, that, that's exactly it. I make it easier for people to have a fresh start, people who need it. I help them see that the light in the tunnel is not a train. I'm like George Bailey in that film. Uh, another, another angel, angel just got his wings. wings. <laughs> mm. I know you never told me what kind of wall you practice. Ah, let's just keep it shallow. Uh, well, I'm gonna find out at the tree trimming party. Well, I'm a divorce attorney. You're kidding. No, I, I think it's important how people move through tough times. That's where a good family lawyer comes in. Yeah. I never really got a chance to move on, but now we're swimming into the end, so. That's okay. You can tell me about it. No. This is a business agreement. Maybe the contract was ill-conceived? <laughs> well, it is dried in ink now. Right. You wrote it. <laughs> True. Okay, what's happening? This was my life and now it's yours. Yeah, the, the, uh, the blunts are a little, they're weird. Um, I'll tell him. Oh no, I'll tell him if he ever calls so I can decide if he's real. If he's really? Well, you hear stories of lonely ladies. I'm not saying they're you. Oh, oh, oh. This just came for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on. Presents now? Presents. Love you too, Zoe. You're the talk of the office. Yeah, when am I not? But now you're the envied talk of the office. Unless he's ugly. 
Not that ugly is a setback. Okay, let's just not be those people. Yeah, let's definitely not. Right? He's not ugly. The angel gets its wings. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Inside jokes, too. Good for you. Well, that went well. A little bit answer six. Okay. Hi. You got the balloons? Yes, and the chimes. Uh, thank you. The office is gossiping over time. <laughs> uh, the balloons are a bit, um... Kitty party. Yeah. Well, it was either that or a cake pop tree. No, I could be the whole office with a cake pop tree. They'd love it. Duly noted. I'm all thumbs with these things. You're doing great. <laughs> Do you know that red roses are pricier for no particular reason? They're just price gouging romantics. Okay. I mean, come on. Yeah, um, now you're all thumbs. <laughs> right. So, uh, what's up? Just saying hi? I was just wondering, do you, do you think that maybe you could, uh, pick me up for lunch at the office today? Sure, love to. In fact, I need help picking up an ornament for the tree trimming party. Do you think that maybe you could come a bit early also? Will do. Welcome to World Bright Travel. You must be Zoe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who wants to know? <laughs> I, uh, I'm Nick. I'm here for Elise. No. Seriously? Yes, I'm pretty sure about that. Right this way. Elise! Hi. How are you? Ready to go? Serving. Thank you. Okay, don't turn around. Are they all mopping the windows? Well, I love it when business works out. I have never been in a Christmas store. Ever? Are we nearing a panic attack? No, that would fall under drama. Okay. Well, let's just break it up into sections. Right? Right. Oh, uh, what about a sparkly nutcracker? It would say that I am disciplined, hardworking, sparkly, so I know how to have fun, right? I, I just think you're overthinking it. So just tell me a little bit more about your boss. Okay, well, Christmas is very important at the firm. Strictly family law. And, and what I like about the firm is they're not interested in making money off of other people's suffering. They're interested in, in helping people solve their problems legally. Okay. So we need something that says peace on earth or even better, something that symbolizes that, exactly. right? Exactly, yes. I mean, right in front of our eyes. Perfect. It's beautiful. Gentle, gentle. So Christmas really doesn't bother you? Ah, uh, it used to be my favorite time of year. Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe because it's cold and gloomy out and everybody needs a sense of good warmth and cheer. It just sounds like good problem solving to me. Well, that's very business sensible. Guilty as charged. Well, I'm in family law, so no guilt involved. <laughs> <laughs> well. I started a charity component to my company a year before my ex-husband joined the company. And it's incredible. Um, we 
provide field trips for underprivileged kids uh, to historical and national landmarks. And you should see, oh my gosh, the letters that come pouring in, it's amazing. And Dan uh, <laughs> wants to kill the program because he said it's financially draining. Why does he care? Uh, did I mention that Dan has a thing for sports cars and a chronic flirtation with debt? So what does he contribute to the business? He does his part, recklessly. Uh, he's in charge of marketing, a company that I started myself. You know, but the truth is, is that we can afford to give, and I just don't think that the spirit of giving shouldn't be year-round. You don't have a Scrooge bone in your body, do you? <laughs> no, I am 100% Tiny Tim. <laughs> I can't give up on these kids. I, I have to give back. I get it. What he doesn't get is that he needs me professionally. I don't need him. I don't need his girlfriend. And I believe that they're leading us down a less elegant path. And he refuses to sell me his half of the company, and I just... just practically gave it to him because I was in love once. I just... Lisa. You know what? <sighs> that is deep enough for today. Because we debut as a power couple this weekend, so... We need to focus up. Right. Focus up. Hey. Hey. What's that? Nothing. Nervous? I am now. So I did some snooping. Very stealth-like. You're good in a sports coat, no tie. All the ladies are wearing dresses. Pants for women, ground upon. Seriously? I'm trying to help. Ugh. Later. Yeah, later. I don't understand how this is happening, guys. I've checked the orders against the schedules against the tours at the Metropolitan. I don't know how any of this is happening. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, St. Nick is calling. Oh, <laughs> St. Nick, that is so cute. Hey, so cute. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi, listen, this, I have a, a, a very big, roaring fire that I'm trying to put out right now. We good for lunch? I'm sorry, three school tour buses just like imploded on us and I have to figure this thing out. Oh, but we're still on for tonight, right? Because it's been suggested that you wear a dress. I hope that's all right. Yes, I am a woman. Uh, I definitely have some. I gotta go. Oh. Okay. You just hung up on him. You never just hang up on them. Guys, he's fine. We have a major problem we have to solve here. We date. We know. You never want to remind them that you could be the first to hang up. Okay, you know what? That is a silly Never. Thing. Ever. Back to work. Come on. She just hung up on me. What if she bails on me tonight? I think she's putting out fires, like she said. Yeah, well, what if it burns all night? I'm sure she's pretty competent. I don't know, it's just, I have a lot invested in this. Careful. You are starting to sound like a love interest. It's a business contract, and I need a specific result. I didn't realize until this moment, but maybe that's how women look at love. Like business? Yeah, maybe. You know, I really like this uh, crestfallen Cupid vulnerability on you. Maybe you should wear the skirt. Ha, ha, ha. So the apartment doesn't have a stick of furniture. We're there with the pieces all over the floor, and the instructions are in Swedish. <laughs> Took us all night, didn't it, honey? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We built that bedside table. Hi. Oh, ah, uh, Nick. Hi. Uh, <laughs> well, I knew you would show up one day with a date as striking as you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Sharon Heitzman. Elise Donner. 
We rehearse our entrances, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Heisman, at least. Welcome to our home. Oh, thank you for having us. Now, I'm thinking drinks, introductions, and then a quick tour. In that order, please. Fantastic. Come on in. Everyone, look who's arrived. Hi. Uh, yes. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Do you need any help? Hello there. Um, how about the candies? Sure. You have a gorgeous home. Oh, we have a giant man cave, and I've done what I can. Well, clearly you've done a lot. No, well, you know, Nick has done very well, too. Where exactly has he been hiding you? Well, that's on me. I'm very private, and I work a lot. And Nick is incredibly patient. He's the perfect guy. Hi. I'm just trying to find the powder room. Oh, well, actually, she is. Though I'm beginning to doubt the ultrasound, I swear she's kicking my bladder harder than my son ever did. <laughs> well, girls can be tomboys in the tummy. Yeah. Follow me. Oh, thank you. I love it when Saul keeps track of me at parties. It's very sweet. <laughs> so, any thoughts on marriage and kids? I know I'm being nosy. Uh, well, yes, uh, definitely when the time is right. I love children. I actually have a charity component to my travel business. And oh, I you know what? Save that story for dinner. It will go over very well. <laughs> A girl can have her favorites, can't she? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Wow, what a wonderful job, everyone. Are you just talking about the tree? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, I won't lie. We have had a stellar year here. And everyone in this room has played a huge part including our loved ones. And I believe that it's important to have someone to come home to at the end of the day to remind us what really matters. Spouses, children, family. And I believe that it gives us some basis and some context for the work that we do. Because we understand that family is the cornerstone of community. And by encouraging that ideal, it it shows up in our work and in our lives. Because remember, there is nothing ever wrong with being good people. Frankly, there's everything right with being that. Exactly, Nick. So then, <clears throat> to good people. Good people. To good people. Cheers. 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 We're lying to good people. Well, not lying, just stretching their truth. Why? Because I had three truly terrible Christmases that defined my life, Elise, and I'm not a bad guy. Three ghosts, like Scrooge. Well, Scrooge is a business story. Yes, it is. My last truly terrible Christmas was at the last law firm I was working for. I was also about to make partner when I discovered that one of the senior partners was overlooking major conflicts of interest. Which is criminal, by the way. And? And when I raised concerns, I was fired. And blackballed from every firm in town. Not good people. I'm so sorry. Saul Heitzman is the only person that took a chance on me. And now we're lying to him. Why are we back at the food court? To snap you out of that funky linen and Saul's and because I was craving the wonton soup. Well, being at the food court makes my funk worse. It's like returning to the scene of the crime. 
Is it a crime to want to be a partner at your firm? I'm an asset to them. I know this. Yes, you are. And they know this too, okay? I am a divorced woman, but I do good works in the world. And you're a single guy, and you do too. And sometimes good people just fall into narrow perspectives. So we need to broaden theirs? Yes, we do. Great. So let's get a tree this year. What? No, you just walked me right into that. Actually, you did it to me. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Some figgy pudding now, bring us some figgy pudding now, bring us some figgy pudding and bring it right now. Okay, what is figgy pudding? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I like the fat ones. Uh, no. Yeah. Those will take forever to string. But they're so cool. Come on, please. Okay. Okay. All right, so do you want to do selfies? Social media? Christmas cards? Oh, you are a genius. Yep. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I am. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. And, oh, oh, wait, I don't, I don't. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I have to do it. I wrote the key. One last box. Oh, good. Um, I'm gonna warn you that this might be a little taxing for me. Well, we've already broken one class a day. We're not public. Might as well dip our toes into the deep end. I'll make some coffee. This is fun. Elise. Do you want to tell me what happened? My ex-husband, Dan, really loved to go to car shows. And then on Christmas Eve, he gave me this charm bracelet and it had all these little car parts. And then there was this dangling cursive name that said, Drew. <sighs> he mixed up your presents. On Christmas Eve, Drew is a car show model, FYI. Yikes. So how was that Christmas? He spent it with Drew. So... Four years ago, I... put this Christmas angel in a box and I... um... I haven't opened it since. This may sound really childish and stupid, but we have to win the snowman contest for my company this year. I started that too, and Dan and Drew win every single year. I am officially on it. We will win. Look. You're in a good mood. So don't bring me any bad news. Is that what I do? Yes, sometimes. Well, not today. She was the hot topic of the office, your biz partner. Yeah, she was amazing, wasn't she? But now I have to win her her snowman building contest. And honestly, I don't know the first thing. Two rules. It has to be original and it has to be Christmas themed. 
too bad because snowman in a Halloween costume would be hilarious. Yeah, total winner, except not. Out, oh, I'll help. Yeah? Ugh. Okay. Snowman. snowman. You are kidding about debt. All right. Hey. Hello. Hey. Thank you. You're the best. It's not like it's a chore. What are you doing? We're gonna be late. <laughs> Ready? Hello, competitors. Zoe, you're a competitor. Oh, Holly made me MC as well. Oh. And you've already been voted Mr. Snow Park of the evening. Is that a good thing? Winning's always a good thing. You guys are so late. Uh, we are exactly on time. Not for Nick and me to catch up. Oh. Come on, Nick, I'll show you the hot chocolate table. Will all oh, competitors Holly. please make Holly. your way to the main tent? <laughs> it's a compliment when women want to talk to your man. Come on, I'll show you where we put you. So you survived, Holly. Yeah, she says she knows people, and I will never be found if I hurt you. That's my girl. Mm. Good evening, world bright competitors, employees, and esteemed snow park patrons. Tonight, our teams will have two hours to build a snowman scene. They have to be holiday themed, never have been done before, and the main characters must be a basic snowman. Okay, competitors. To your tents, please. We are going to start in five, four, three, two. Snowman! Chic a snow person. Thank you. Okay, all right. To the newcomers, we've got fourth place, everyone, right over here. Give them a round of applause. Wow, guys. Wow. All right. Third place is Holly and Zoe. Oh my gosh, it's us. Holly won. <laughs> Second place goes to Drew and Dan. That's really snowmobiles. Well done. Okay, and the most exciting part of the night, the reason we are all here, first place goes to Nick and Elise. Elise? Hi, I'm Ashley, Nick's paralegal. Oh, hi. Um, he's just finishing up a call, so I can show you in. Yes, thank you. Right this way. Well, can I give you a hand with that basket that smells so good? I can manage, thank you. Um, have you worked here long? I have. I love my job. And Nick is my favorite ever boss. Elise! So? <laughs> Well, my day just got a whole lot brighter. Oh, you're too kind. I gotta tell you, we are absolutely insane for gingerbread men around here. Well, there's ginger women and ginger policemen. Did I hear gingerbread talk? Hello, Elise. Hello, Bradford. I have a soccer player here for you. Oh, except I'm a hockey fan. Oh, well, then they'd be in broken pieces at the bottom knowing that sport. <laughs> uh... 
Well played. You're welcome. Are we losing our Christmas phobia natures? I mean, I had that figgy pudding song stuck in my head all morning. Well, I for one would love to love Christmas again. Yeah, me too, but it's Christmas. I'm braced. Nick, I know your most recent Christmas ghost. Will you tell me your first? My dad left my mom and me at Christmas. I was six. Maybe that set the pattern. It's okay, we survived. I love my mom. I'm so sorry, Nick. She remarried. A nice doctor who believed that young men should be educated at boarding schools. That's why I saw my mom mostly at Christmas. And the better my grades were, the happier they were to see me. So I like working hard. I'm not good with probing questions. And this is a business contract, right? Right, yes, um, definitely. Hey, did you get the uh, scarf and mitts I sent over for the skating party later tonight? Uh, yes, Nick, you're incredibly generous. Right. So sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, not at all. The Peterson judge just came in. Oh, oh, great, great. Uh, that's gonna crash our lunch, so sorry. No, no, it's, it's okay. I will see you tonight. I'll show you out. It's okay, I know the way. Bye. I just screwed that all up. I am not good about my past. Don't I know it? What do I do? I think she's just enjoying not feeling alone at Christmas time. I think you might be too. I'm not alone. I have you. A ton of work. Well, you were whistling this morning. I whistle. Christmas songs? Christmas stresses me out. The Peterson Judgment. Right. You're quiet tonight. Am I? <sighs> wow, you can skate. I can hang. Hey, come on, lovebirds. Pick it up. On our way. <laughs> All right. Walk is punch, mister. Let's go. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Bradford lettered in hockey. And you? Ice dancing, semi pro. Oh. How can you not take all this as Christmas jinxy? Because I am getting very chummy with her and she likes to talk. And I used to coach figure skating. You really are amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, ready? Uh huh. All right, now pick up your feet more. Mm hmm. Now push out, push, push out yeah. with me. You two look absolutely beautiful. Thank you, we've been waiting all week for this. <laughs> oh. Cool, okay. We need to focus. We need to stay focused on the goal, okay? We will succeed. At skating? At all of this, Nick. Thank you, Elise. <laughs> you two have such charm together. Nah, it's all her doing. I blame him. <laughs> oh, got a hand with Bradford. Yeah, it pays to have multiple skill sets. And yet... Yes? Oh, well. My business partner, Dan, hired a sales rep one year. And he went fishing through interviews to find incomparable softball skills. How did that work out? Well, Dan received all of the coveted softball trophies that he wanted, and our sales quota is virtually plummeted for the entire year. Oh. <laughs> that guy. Personally, I know it's all fun, but I prefer in business, business minds at the home. I like a guy that works overtime. You two are amazing out there. Like born for each other. Not bad, right? Considering I'm his third wife. Uh, don't quote me on that. 
You are so much fun, by the way. Thank you. You went above and beyond today. Thank you. I want to be as valuable to you as you've been to me. We don't have the same goals, Nick. I'm stuck with Dan and his childish work tortures, and I own my mistakes that led me to that. And I kind of feel like I'm just starting to wake up to life again. It's a good thing. But I don't expect Santa or miracles or angels giving their wings. What would winning look like for you? I don't know anymore, Nick. But I'm glad I have a Christmas tree. So thank you for that. Good night. Very sharp. Oh, thank you. Dan, just the man I wanted to see. Uh, you know, Drew and I were, were just heading this out. This will just for... take a second. Turns out we both have friends on the police force. And my buddy tells me that you had your buddy run my plates. Anything specifically you were looking for? <laughs> no. <laughs> just... Come on, honey. Let's... Um... <laughs> see, the thing is, my buddy is your buddy's boss. So, that didn't work out so well. But I'm just happy to know that your natural affection and protection for Elise still exists. Well, That's right. We care a lot for Elise, and we're all under a lot of stress this season at work. Right. The reindeer report. Exciting. <laughs> Elise tells me I have a lot of memorizing to do. Yeah, I'm just more comfortable when I know a subject than when I'm reading it out loud. You know, I have a lot of tricks for memorizing case facts. I'd be happy to teach you. Nick! Hey, hon. Yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, true. You know, we really should be going. How about after lunch? I have the whole afternoon off, actually. Uh, Nick. Nick. Yeah, just a second, honey. So, after lunch, we'll get to work. You know, I don't it's think it's perfect. That... Yes, please. Great. <laughs> Great. Hi. Hi. Look, wonton soup. Who are you, and what have you done with Nicholas? I'm starting to learn that you have a plan for me to get my partnership. Yes? Maybe. Yes. Well, I am hatching a plan, too. And we need to be at the TV station for Drew's reindeer report. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, yes. Also, I need to leave here with a copy of your business contract. You already have a copy. No, um, not the mistletoe promise. You're in Dan's actual contract. Nick. Please don't get my hopes up. That's my line. Wonton soup. Mm. Report. 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 Not report. Report. There it is. Right. Okay, I want you to relax. Been in there a long time. Deep breath. Yeah, well, I'm guessing it's a pretty long job. Really loose. Really loose. Really loose. I'm proud of you, Al. You hung in there like a pro, and you caught a really great guy. Well, we've only been dating for a little bit, so... Don't do that. Live in possibility now. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This screen's so good. Yes, it is. It's so good. <sighs> hey. So, what do you think? I think dress sharp for the reindeer report. <laughs> yeah, we'll not be going to that. It's your company, and I promise Drew, so yes, we are. You look great, as always. Thank you. I can't believe that we're actually going to this. Trust me.
right. Well, there's your stage. Okay. <laughs> All right, there's your mark. Put your little toes right there. Uh, why don't we walk from the green room? I don't want to make her nervous. You stay put, young lady. Good evening, Santa Watchers. As promised tonight, our state's very own Drew Richards will walk us through Santa's planned sleigh routes this Christmas. Our famed reindeer report brought to you by the folks at World Bright Travel Agency. Every day as a present when on a vacation. Take it away, Drew. I'm Drew. Hi. Everybody. Reindeer Report. This is the Reindeer Report. This is the Reindeer Report. Okay. What? You got this. What? You, you got this. Come what? on, let's go. Say something. Hi, everyone. My apologies. I'm Elise Donner from World Bright Travel Agency. I'm so sorry, Drew, but we have a breaking news report from Santa. Santa has decided to enter America through New York City this year so he can go catch a glimpse of the beautiful Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center. Soon he will be zigzagging his way through the upper Midwest. Then, soon under his sleigh will be the beautiful Grand Canyon as he slides on into Los Angeles. These are all landmarks of World Bright Travel's own History Children's Outreach Program and they are apparently favorites of Mr. and Mrs. Claus's too. All right, thanks very much, ladies. We'll take a break. More coming up right after this. <laughs> Good thing Elise has a public speaking background, right? Honestly, it's bizarre he didn't show. No, he just said a meeting. What? Who is Dan? What? Dan? Ugh, God, no. Yes, Dan and Drew. Just ridiculous to skip the Christmas lunch because you had to rescue his girlfriend together. Oh my God. Really did work out for all of you. Um, Holly, there's no such thing as working out with Dan, so just be prepared. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late, crew. <laughs> Almost got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't we just leap right into Elisa's surprise Santa present for us all. Absolutely. Thank you, Elise, for building such a fun company to work at. Uh, okay, that's, that's not exactly what I meant. You know what, why don't we all check our emails? Huh? Everyone, check your emails. What's the mistletoe promise? You ransacked my emails. Well, I, I mean, I, I found it on the server randomly. The server that hasn't been working until now? I'm really, really sorry. What happened? Me? I haven't happened and I haven't been happening for years. My life is frozen in a personal and professional stupor. My life is strictly business. It's strictly business and that's all it is. And even in that, I've let down my family, my friends, and my company, and myself. And you haven't let me down, Lisa. No, I haven't. I was on my contracts. I just forgot to do one with myself. You don't have to go to New York, Elise. I would totally understand. No. We're going to go to New York and we're going to get you your partnership. Because it will feel good to do something right. Just one thing right for someone. 
I'm sorry, I have to be alone. I'm sorry. Elise. I can't believe I'm apologizing twice inside of 24 hours. First, my car died, and then I couldn't find my charger, so. Make excuses in the car. We may actually miss your flight. Hi, Elise. Hi. OK, there's a freeway entrance right here. If you just turn, 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 turn. Going that way this time in the morning? Just strap in, Buster. You all right back there, Elise? I'm fine, yes. It's not bad heading that direction. Do I have to get a pair of earbuds to draw you out, Nicholas? At this point, winning might be everything. I know. Fingers crossed. You're good. You've got your lucky charm and secret Christmas weapon with you. <laughs> okay. All right, here we are. Hey. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Ladies first. Um. Champagne? Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. There you are. Ah, uh, music. Yes, yes. All right. There we go. We won't go until we've got some. So bring it right here. Perfect. Um, I'm going to change. Oh, yeah. One final present. Whatever happens, this has been the best deal I've ever struck. And I've actually enjoyed Christmas. I did too. <laughs> Well, so my gift to you is a touch unusual. Kylie is Bradford's third wife. What? Third isn't three, which is not so family iconic, is it? Uh, I, I could kiss you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we only deploy that as a nuclear option because we both know that you're the best man for this job and that you have not up blindly into marriage. 
Thank you. Deal. That's Christmas to me, baby. Yes, so the room is beautiful, thank you. Quite the turnout. Yeah, really. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Willison, you've returned. Or did I ever leave? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't tell me. Uh, Bradford and Kylie, Nick and Elise. Well, I'm impressed. So, Nick, tell me your favorite Christmas memory. Oh, uh, um, uh, well. You know what? Why don't you tell them the story about the woman that you saved from hating Christmas that year? This is a really lovely story. Oh, yes, Nick, you must. I agree. Okay, um... Well, I was at the food court at a shopping mall, and this beautiful lady was being tortured by Christmas carolers. <laughs> <laughs> so I could tell that she was the kind of person that was not particularly fond of <laughs> No, 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 but I, I, I can't take credit for how this incredibly brave woman showed up for herself and her life. We made a contract to buddy breed through Christmas. Two Christmaphobes. <laughs> yes, it was that simple, that silly, and, well, that profound. And what happened to her? Well, I hear she's doing great in all aspects of her life. Even in love? Yes, so I hear. So, to love, to our families, and to Christmas. Cheers. Christmas. Christmas. Cheers. Christmas. Cheers. Merry Cheers. Christmas, everyone. Cheers. I actually have a surprise for you. Come on. No, come on. Come on. Really? Yes. <laughs> you made Christmas fun for me. <laughs> I think we both did that. <laughs> Making a pact, scaring off carolers. Ah, picking out ornaments, picking out a tree, stringing lights. <gasps> so many presents. Oh, so many presents. never enough. <laughs> I could build snowmen all year. Fun like this. Fun like us. It's not just fun. It's more than that. It's my heart. And it's yours too. I know. No, you don't. I don't think that you really know. We made it clear. We had a contract. Nothing too deep. We made a promise, Elise, not a contract. We made a promise. Yes, and I intend to keep it as written because that is what you wanted. And I'm so ready to be that woman in the store that you told tonight, but we've had the best fake relationship ever. All of the ups and downs without any of the risks. Business is a risk. No, love. <laughs> love is a risk. Business is something you do. I'm really good at it. <sighs> Nick, you're so close and you deserve to be partner, not because of some lie or some rules that we have to bend or break, but because you deserve it. So just trust me on this. Do a, you have a key? I'm gonna take a walk. Good night. Good night. See, we didn't realize they speed the gondolas up when they're closing the ski park. And <laughs> thought we had plenty of time to finish. <laughs> You've never been married, Nick? 
Well, um, I was set to, but my third Christmas ghost. It was autumn, the worst time to get married, someone told me after the fact. I was in my tuxedo, and I was the happiest I had ever been. Far happier than my bride-to-be, as it turned out, who had her father drive her away from the church. It was the loneliest Christmas of my life. So I switched to divorce law, I thought, because I wanted to be the guy who could make it easier, gentler for those people going through breakups. Nick, you're a good man. When this is yourself. I met Elise three weeks ago. I approached her with a contract to rescue me from losing out on partnership because I don't have a wife. Nick, see, I didn't come from easy beginnings and I made a choice to better my life and my situation. I think that makes me a valuable asset to this firm, sir. But I'll do respect. I don't agree with the premise or the policy that Families and marriage are the only way to promote goodness in the world. Virtue and dignity comes from all aspects of life. Elise here is divorced and she has more grace, more empathy than I ever thought possible. Nick, this surely no. isn't. You're the woman from Nick's story last night. In part, yes, um, a lot of uh, parts of my life are still unsettled. But I can tell you this, you will never find a man with a truer heart than Nick's. He makes the world his concern, and I've seen it time and time again. But this is a business lunch, and I really have no place here now. Please excuse me. So, I'm sorry for wasting all your time. Hey, Elise, wait! Nick, what are you doing? Just go back in and close the deal, okay? No, no, the deal is here. I broke the contract. I got too deep and fell in love. Both of you, please, would you come back to the table? Mr. Williamson insists. Sharon, Saul, thank you for your kindness, but I really must catch a plane. <sighs> huh. Honestly, Drew, you did me a favor, girl. Yes. She did. <sighs> I've waited four years for you to realize that. I'm so sorry, Holly. No, hun, I am. Sometimes the best friend is the one who hangs back and lets you figure things out for yourself. I think I just needed to... <sighs> Do something crazy. Yes, you did. And we all thought it was brave and cool and, <laughs> as Zoe puts it, he's dreamy beyond words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, you ready to let Dan have this place? I go where you go. Just don't sign a non-compete clause, please. Never. On top of my buyout demands. Well, our bad demands. There's something that I wanted to tell you in person. Your reindeer report has been getting a lot of philanthropy calls. What? Do-gooders want to fund our History Kids Charity Outreach Program. Are you serious? Yes. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> that is the best present ever! <laughs> Zoe's compiling a file right now. We might have a lot to celebrate next year. I can't believe it. <sighs> Come to my folks tonight. 
You're making duck. Oh, sweetheart, you know I'd love to, but I have, I have a lot of work to finish. Plus, it's snowing out, and I think I might want to walk home in it. After all, it's almost Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. snow persons. I'm so sorry, Nick. No. You showed up, you went the distance to the contract like a pro. Mr. Willison said it was the best run for partner he has seen in his long career. You made partner? We did. <laughs> Just like you said. Feels nice. It does. It's what I was scared of. I think we both were. Nick, I don't think that I'm ready for Parson, but I could show you some biggie pudding. Well, he'll be back again next year, I hear. Mm -hmm. And this will do for now, I think. So, should we extend our agreement in perpetuity, perhaps? I can agree with that. This will do. Promise. Two co-workers share a past. College was a long time ago. Doesn't matter what happened back then. Now. You're going to Hollyvale. What? What? You know how you are with the weather. I'll be fine. Whoa! Love becomes breaking news. Maybe I'll find my Christmas spirit. Lori Lachlan. There's something very special about this little town. Every Christmas has a story. Premieres next Saturday at 8. Part of Open House Weekend on Hallmark Channel. The heart of Christmas. Thank you.